today's tip, how to align and manipulate objects with an EasyBuilder Pro. When designing your project, you can use the tools within the Arrange ribbon located within the Home tab to align and manipulate objects. When aligning objects, keep in mind that the last object selected will be used as a reference for the alignment function. This object is called the dominant object. With that said, a group of objects can be aligned to the bottom edge, vertical center, top edge, right edge, along the horizontal center, or the left edge. We can also make all objects the same width or height as the dominant object. While using system shapes that were created using our draw tools, we can assign all objects to the same color as the dominant object. Objects can be grouped using the Group button. A group of objects can be repositioned without disrupting their placement relative to each other. And I can ungroup these objects as well. Objects that are pinned cannot be inadvertently moved. This feature is helpful when you have many objects on the same page, some of which may be overlapping. We can quickly adjust the horizontal or vertical distribution of objects by selecting the space even across or space even down. When using the Distribute Evenly option, EasyBuilder Pro will attempt to determine where each object should be placed relative to its position. However, if the objects are scattered randomly, this function may not produce the desired result. To center an object along the horizontal center of this window, you can use the Horizontal Center in Window option and the Vertical Center in Window option will perform essentially the same task vertically. Now if you have several objects that overlap, you may need to change the order in which these objects are stacked. To do this, simply select one or more objects and use the Move To options within the drop-down list. To move one or more objects precisely, we can use the Nudge options within the drop-down list. And while a single object is selected, we can decrease or increase its size incrementally. You may have noticed that there are hotkeys for these functions as well. And if you're working on a project designed for a CMT or CMTX HMI, you can even rotate or invert graphic images using functions within our range tools. Thank you for watching this quick tip created by WinTech USA support. For more information about our software and our products, please visit wintechusa.com.